Right now, in April 2020, we are living in a time that has upended all of our general expectations of how people interact. We don't touch. We don't gather in workplaces or homes or restaurants. And we don't even run out for anything like a quart of milk. But I have noticed that across the space of a street, people are saying hi. I have noticed that neither sunshine nor rain, blossoms nor pollen have been canceled. I see others smiling from behind homemade masks. I know because the crinkles in the corner of their eyes gives it away. And yes, people are looking one another in the eyes. People are teaching preschool through Zoom. Theaters are rehearsing through Zoom and having costume parties through Zoom. Balloons have not been canceled and home cooking has not been canceled. Walking has not been canceled and bird song has not been canceled. Safety and kindness are still a way of life and somehow they're being taken more seriously than they have been in past times. I know a family in my neighborhood that tips the pizza delivery guy 100%. My family puts out wrapped candies and bottled drinks for delivery folk. A neighbor of mine puts a granola bar in the mailbox almost every day. Homemade signs adorn many windows and doors, thanking the people who are continuing with their work and keeping us safe. There are people who have taken the injunction to stay indoors seriously. They are a part of our safety team. Thank you, thank you for sheltering at home. There are people driving across country in the middle of the night. There are ones keeping essential services open. There are ones finding ways to get their services out to others creatively and without person-to-person -person contact. Absolutely amazing. Somehow, kindness and safety have melded into one thing. Perhaps we should call it kindity. I think so. We are entering a new world where kindity is the standard. Henry James once wrote, there are three essential things about living. The first is kindness. The second is kindness. The third is kindness. And Jeff Cooper reminds us that safety is something that happens between our ears, not something we hold in our hands. Finally, the Dalai Lama, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. Kindity, a new way of life. Let's keep it going.